Hey guys, this is just a really quick update. I haven't done one in a little bit. There's only two points in this update video. One is a message to my subscribers, as well as any friends that I have that may not even be subscribed, but may be following videos or even friends with me on Facebook. The second point is just a really, really quick update on the video uploads and where I'm at. So the message that I have to my subscribers is first of all, thank you. Thank you for all that have subscribed to this channel and also to the people that have been leaving comments and giving encouragement, as well as those that have been also challenging things as well. I'm, I'm very thankful for everyone's input. Now, there is one thing I'm gonna be asking of you guys, please. For anyone who has been offended with anything that I've said, especially to the point of unsubscribing or even unfriending me on Facebook or cutting off communication or secretly just backing out from contact or watching my videos or anything along these lines, I do ask that before you take this action that you do at least this one thing for me. That one thing I ask is just to simply talk to me about it first. And I have seven specific reasons why I'm asking you to do this. The first reason is because this is actually love. Rather than secretly cutting people off, coming to people about something that you may be offended about, and at least vocalizing it before just saying see ya. The second reason is because it's wise. It's very possible I may have said something wrong, or I could have been vague, and in speaking to me about it, it gives me a chance to make it clear. It's very possible that something I said may have been misunderstood or taken the wrong way, and it would be foolish just to cut me off and not speak to me about it, especially if the person is under a misconception. The third thing is it also gives me a chance to possibly be edified by whoever it is that may actually have an issue. And also gives me a chance to check myself. If no one says anything to me, then I can't really know. And if Jesus has been convicting me and I've been missing the convictions, he may be sending you to get my attention. And as you know, I'm very heavy on speaking about this on my channel. The fourth thing is that I may be in error. Just like the end of point three there, I might actually need correction, and you may be the person that Jesus may be using to get my attention on it. And if that's the case, then I'm very thankful and I'm very open. The fifth reason is more so on the situation where, let's say if I may not be in error, let's say it may be you that is in error, and I'm not in any way trying to say that just because you are offended, it means that you're in error. I'm just saying, just in case the situation is this case, at least it gives both of us a chance to go through it, and you may be able to see things in a different way, or I may be able to explain things a little bit better, where it might make sense, and you might be able to see the truth in the information presented, if indeed it is true. And again, this is one of those situations where this is if you may be in error. Again, I'm not trying to say that you are just because you're offended. Point number six is if you're running because you're in fear or an in intimidation or feeling condemned, you may be oppressed, maybe the enemy might just be attacking you and it just may have been a rough day or you're having a rough time or things are going on in your life where just watching one of the videos really rubbed you the wrong way. I believe it's a lot more wiser to shoot me a message and just ask me to pray for you rather than simply unsubscribing and running. This one, while I was praying about this, Jesus really highlighted this one for me, that this is a much, much more wiser approach if you're in this situation is to ask for prayer. And the last point, the seventh one, this is what Jesus would do. He would speak to the person about it first. He wouldn't just cut them off and say absolutely nothing and leave. I recently heard a saying that if we can only be friends if we agree, then we only love ourselves. And sadly, throughout a lot of my walk, that is what I've been experiencing with a lot of people. That if we don't agree, then 
no more communication, no more friendship, no more anything. See you. Goodbye. I'm going to love you from a distance. And that's not what Jesus practices. So thank you for taking note of these things. And anyone who does, apply it in the future. The last update I have here, like I said, is really short. I'm just going to explain uh, where I'm at. I'm currently about to start the next playlist. I just finished the Antichrist one. And the next one is on sins that Christians accept. I'll be posting the first video for this playlist very shortly. After this playlist, I plan on concluding my testimony section. And then at that point, I'm going to begin the second portion of the playlists of this channel where I focus more on answering subjects and giving a little bit more cold water rather than hot water. My previous playlists have been doing a lot of pointing out the problems. As I mentioned, I, I said I was going to do. But the future playlists, after I conclude my testimony section, Lord willing, I can get that done in that order, is going to focus a little bit more on an edifying, building up manner that's supposed to fill in gaps and really put things together rather than just simply pointing out the problem. So I thank all of you for your patience. I was not actually expecting uh, these uploads to take this long. I ran into quite a bit of attacks in the Antichrist playlist. However, I seem to be back on the ball again. So Jesus bless you, and I hope to hear from some of you soon. Whether it's you are offended or not, thank you for leaving comments, and thank you for your love.